Make sure you go over and get a copy of our book, Guaranteed Freedom, Victory, and Success Through the Lord Jesus Christ. You can go over to our website, commonsensenation.net. You can go to Amazon, or it's also available on Barnes & Noble. God bless you. Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Some of you may be familiar with Lancet Medical Journal. It used to be a respectable journal for medicine. It's pure trash now because they have adopted what they call woke politics. It's not based on scientific evidence. Most of the trash you hear coming from the mainstream media is exactly that trash. They don't believe in doing. Could I understand this particular research? Did they do a peer review? Because I thought that was part of these medical journalists writing these articles trying to influence other people. Was there a peer review? Did they let some other colleagues, medical experts, look at the evidence that they compiled and came to the conclusion that this information was truthful? It's not based in science. This is a political article by supposedly supposed to be a medical journal. They say a lot of the sicknesses and illnesses in the world is really because of uh, xenophobia, racism, and discrimination. I'm hiding from systemic racism. Is it okay to come outside? Systemic racism. People are dropping dead. People are getting sick. What's the number one cause of people dying in the world? I do believe it's heart disease, right? Now, they've been having an influx of certain death. People just drop dead for no reason. That's because of racism and you misogynistic pigs. This has something to do with xenophobia. This has something to do with capitalism. Colonization. It's just throwing it up. Just throw some of it against the wall. Hope it stick. I'm so sick of this made up stuff. Like when they tell me about systemic racism, give me specifics. I'm being marginalized. I'm afraid of climate change. Because if I look at the number one killer and cause, we're looking at heart disease, we're looking at cancer. Now we're looking at sudden death. But we're only blaming that on xenophobia and racism. I thought this was supposed to be a, a medical journal magazine. Can you give me the scientific facts, what you're basing this on? Because you don't get heart disease from racism. You don't get cancer from discrimination. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't know this, but xenophobia does not come from capitalism. A lot of these issues, it's got something to do with what the hell they putting in the food. This is what's causing most of the health problems. And these so-called medical experts like the Anthony Fauci's telling people to take things that may give you a heart attack. These blood clots, I guess, are being caused by xenophobia. I can't breathe because of climate change. Systemic racism. It's not the five pork chop sandwiches I just ate. It's not <laughs> Cancer is being caused by discrimination. Systemic racism. See, as long as you keep doing dumb things over and over again, guess what kind of results you're going to get? Stupid results. It's a fact. I, I, what I am just bewildered by is how many people are so easily led astray. We talked about the, 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 the guy named Liver King who was getting people to eat raw liberals, uh, liver and uh, bull testicles. They don't print enough money for me to eat a raw liver. They don't print enough money for me to eat bull testicles. See, I'll listen to the Liver King tell me what to eat just like I listen to Anthony Fauci tell me what to put in my body. It's never going to happen. If people just start using a little common sense, like, you don't have to tell me that smoking is bad for your health, right? You're grown up not telling you not to smoke. Smoke all you want. You can smoke 15 packs a day. But later on, don't come back to me and say, well, I didn't know smoking cigarettes was dangerous to your health. You can say that I believe I should be able to eat anything, and you should. You're going to eat five pork chop sandwiches. 
poke bones, fat backs. You're going to eat chitlins. Uh, you're going to eat Mickey D's every day. Uh, whole freaking pies. Krispy Kreme donuts. And then you're going to blame that on xenophobia. You're going to blame that on racism. You're going to blame that on capitalism. It's not the violence in my neighborhood. It's what they're doing to systemic racism. Col colonizing. And this stupid journal comes out and says that a lot of the ills and problems, uh, health problems we're having in the world today has something to do with xenophobia, racism, <laughs> and discrimination. Please do tell. I got time. I want you to explain it to me. If I get heart disease, show me how xenophobia, discrimination, or racism has something to do with that. Please explain it to me. Because I don't believe any rational peer review will come to the same conclusion that this phony magazine has came to now. The reason a lot of people cannot get well because I've come to the conclusion that the damn doctors don't want you to get well. Because if you get well, you don't have to keep going to them paying them co-payments. The whole industry is built on this. And the whole industry is built on somebody being a victim. Like they're promoting this. What's that easy girl name? See, they're promoting her to be overweight. I'm not saying if you're struggling with your weight. I'm not knocking you. If some big girls carry their weight real well, they, they, they large. I don't got a problem with it. I'm not telling you how to, what size to be or none of that. But don't come on here telling me that it's good for your health to eat trash or be severely overweight. It's just not good for your health. That's a fact. Just like it's not good to smoke five packs of cigarettes today. You can smoke it. But don't start complaining and say that the tobacco company fool you. Yeah, they may be sticking extra uh, nicotine in there, but all I'm saying is that you do you. I mean, did you really think it was it was good for your health? Do you really think it's not damaging your health? You're not a choo you train. It just doesn't make any sense to me. The illogical way that these so-called experts, if you put PhD or MD in front of your name, you can tell people anything. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds. It doesn't matter because to me, no medical journal would actually make this statement and call themselves rational. See, everything, most of the things that people go do now on social media platform is because they're trying to be politically correct or they're trying to get some traction. So they'll say anything. They'll sell out and say any, anything. They'll sell their mama out. They'll sell their daddy out, the children out, wife, husband. They'll do anything for money. They'll destroy themselves for money, pretending as if what they're doing is the right thing. Now, I ask you a question. There's a little kids or who are being made to have operation, puberty blockers, destroying their little bodies. Do you really think that, that is natural and is good for you? But you got medical experts advocating this. You got Rachel Levine, a.k.a. Dick Levine, Richard. Is, is saying that these operations is for the good health of the children. And he, she is supposed to be a doctor. What's his pronouns anyway? That and them? I got a problem with a medical journal wasting time with gibberish. Telling us that racism, discrimination, and xenophobia. That's, those are not medical terms. Why are we using political terms to talk about medical subjects? Because they're not interested in talking about medicine. That's why I knew the lockdowns were not about medicine. They keep saying, follow the science. How many of them told you that if you take the vaccination, you would not catch COVID? Were they right? See, all you have to do is look at the evidence and see if somebody got it right. Now, you can't keep getting it wrong. And then act like you an expert. See, Al Gore is supposed to be an expert on climate change. He's been getting it wrong for the past almost 30 years, if not more. And now everybody's acting like he's an expert. He's trying to play chicken little. He's crying wolf again. We don't believe you, Al. You've gotten it wrong too many times. How many times did a person have to get it wrong? I mean, just think about how, how, how dumbfounded or how dumbed down most citizens of each country has become. You look at the people who's been in charge, being in leadership, 
for 30, 40, 50 years. They've been having these world conferences for all this time. And they have not cured not one single problem since you've been born. I don't care who you are, whether you're 80 or whatever. They really haven't cured any problems. They know how to medicate them, but they don't really cure problems. Have cancers been cured? Oh, they may have had a cure for it, but they're not going to let you actually do that because a lot of people are going to be out of money. A bunch of these hospitals are going to be out of money if they actually cure something. All I'm saying is that I don't think most of them want you to get better because you wouldn't waste your time writing an article with this jibber-jabber telling me how racism and xenophobia and discrimination is causing health problems. Climate change. Yes, I'm behind the tree. The tree keeps me safe. No, it's got something to do with what's being put in your body is causing health problems. Oh, there are some exceptions that people could be unhealthy and they had nothing to do with it. They were born this way. But most health problems is self-induced. That is a fact. Fact of the matter is most people have health problems is because of some lifestyle that they've chosen. But this medical journal, journal magazine wants you to believe it has something to do with capitalism, racism, uh, I, everything you can name that it has, it's not even medical. This is what they're blaming it on. Now, I'm supposed to take these people serious. You're not credible anymore. Anybody who will lie this easy, you're not credible to me. It's completely nonsense. Medicine has been politicized now. They politicize football and, and, and baseball and NASCAR and basketball, movie theaters. Everything is politicized. Now medicine is politicized. At the same time, they're telling you you must listen to the experts. See, climate change is a political argument. It's not a scientific argument. Because most of the time it's based on feelings. I did you tell me you're killing the earth? The people who's telling you that are, have private planes and they have big houses all over the place. If they really thought they were serious, they would stop what they were doing. Just think about it. Back up off of it. Put the medication down for a little while. Take a deep breath. Use your brain. I'm having a hard time breathing. It was put there for a reason. I know it's hard. It hurts your brain to think sometimes. But just think a little bit. Go look up Anthony Fauci's history. He did so had something to do with the AIDS epidemic. Show me something he actually solved or fixed. Show me something he actually made better. Nothing. He's never made anything better. He's nothing but a politician. And a kook politician at that. He's an arrogant little SOB. I like to call him the garden gnome, but he hasn't cured anything. He hasn't made anybody better. He doesn't even practice medicine. The freaking dude is a politician. Stew pigeon for China. And people are still giving him credit. He's an infectious disease expert. Who are you? Well, I'm the one that's not getting sick uh, uh, listening to these quack doctors. That's who I am. <laughs> You're not finna get me to believe anything somebody has a track record of destroying lives, I suppose to listen to him. Got enough sense to know that. Here you are chunking rocks. You, your whole house is glass and you trying to throw rocks. <laughs> I don't even have to be like the big bad wolf, huff and puff and blow your straw house down. I just look at it. it it's down. <laughs> I can look your way. Your straw house is destroyed.